Hello and welcome to Express Drives. We are at Lonavla. You can see the weather is beautiful, gorgeous for a drive, gorgeous for a shoot. But what is heating up the temperature? Well, it has to be the Volvo C40 recharge. Now, Volvo has gone the contemporary way. They have taken out a very gorgeous looking design and they believe this is going to change the way the EV segment looks. They're bringing in the chic look. But is the C40 recharge just an arm candy? Well, that is what we're going to decode. So stay tuned and find out what the all new C40 recharge offers. So does the front look familiar to you? Of course it does because it is based on the XC40 recharge but there are some tweaks and some additional features. First and foremost we are going to talk about the headlamps. No, it still retains the Thor hammer, of course it does but we are talking about the headlamps. These are pixel headlamps, these are premium headlamps. It is the first time a Volvo vehicle in India is getting these headlamps and these basically improve illumination and at the same time when an oncoming traffic or an oncoming vehicle comes it doesn't blind the driver just as a trivia each headlamp has 84 pixel lamps so these are again very premium headlamps the other thing is you see the body colored panel right here the front nose it's not all black but Volvo has decided to merge the color with the body so it looks also very nice and premium Apart from that, if you look at the design, the bumper, even the Thor Hammer LEDs, it all looks like the XC40 recharge. So why don't you tell us what the Scoupe SUV looks like? Do you like it? Would you opt for this or the traditional boxy XC40 recharge? Like the XC40 recharge, the C40 also comes with the frunk. So let's quickly take a look. It is a 31 liters boot space. Well. It is an additional space, you can obviously put your charging cords if you want. But apart from that, little knickknacks also you can put. So it is very helpful, extremely practical additional space. The C40 recharge makes quite a sleeping statement. And why not? Because it has this coupe sloping roof line. That's the reason why we're going to start from the rear. It is based on the XC40, but it is a lot more trendier. And what are the new updates here? Straight away you can see it has a very busy and a lot of character when you look at the rear itself but the standout points here are that it has one spoiler right here that's extension of the roof and another spoiler right here now this increases the range of the car as well as offers stability and high speed so it is a very sporty electric suv coupe then of course you look at the windshield itself this is new because it is a coupe shape so obviously it is a lot more aerodynamic and sloping then you see the L shape and very slim looking LED tail lamps again it is very different from the XC40 recharge so these are the standout features of the C40 recharge which makes it a lot more sportier and also gives it a unique character so we've talked about how the design is and before we step inside the cabin let's take a look at the boot space one touch and it opens and as you can see the space is limited it is 413 liters now when you compare it to the xc40 recharge it offers more boot space 452 liters to be precise now a it has less space and b because of its high raised platform it also eats into the boot space on top of that you can see the spare wheel also takes a lot of space so it is limited but then that is one of its cons but apart from that we'll tell you more about the c40 recharge so now we're going to look at the side profile of this fastback or very sporty looking uh, coupe suv and of course because of the swooping roof line the windowsill is also a little bit more slimmer does that affect the headroom inside we'll talk about that later but it comes with the same 19 inch alloy wheels like the xc40 recharge and it comes with low resistant tires now what low resistant tires means is that it improves the range of the vehicle and according to volvo this low resistant tires equates to almost eight percent increase in range so it's practical it's gorgeous to look at 
and yes it makes a statement so we're inside the c40 recharge and you can take a look it's typical volvo uh, design it is simple but the materials are top class this is slightly on the harder side the plastic but you look at this very interesting design right here knowing the scandinavians there is a reason why this design is there and this they have replicated the mountains in sweden so very interesting take but it also really does stand apart apart from that you know it all you see the vertical shaped air vents which is always there the nine inch display which is an android based infotainment system it is very easy to use it is actually responsive intuitive at the same time and has a lot of settings right here and good news here for iphone users it has apple carplay now if you look at it as a whole it is very easy to use and there's nothing really wrong with it but as it's been around for a while there's nothing new about it either it hasn't really updated itself and um, when you look at the android os on a phone and you look at this os right now it looks a bit jaded but still it has a lot of features it only comes in all-wheel drive version like the xc40 recharge then it comes with level 3 adas and you can take a look right here you can switch on all these functions lane keeping assist and on top of that you can also use one pedal drive now i have put it on auto you can switch it on on as standard or off now the difference between the two is an auto it gradually applies brakes but in terms when it comes when you look at the on session or when you opt for the on well it's very intrusive and it's a bit more abrupt so i prefer the auto sec uh, auto uh, option also it does not come with any multiple driving modes it comes with a different uh, it does come with a steering mode it can be either a little bit heavier or they call it feel firm or lighter these are the couple of uh, different options now if you look at the cabin itself again it is extremely functional but well designed it comes with wireless phone charger right here and it comes with a type c uh, port also here so there are dual type c right here and uh, of course you have a dual zone air climate uh, air climate uh, instrument also right here to spruce up the premium part it comes with harman kardon 13 speakers system and it has around 600 watts of power so very very powerful system and also it comes with additional boom feature and that is the subwoofer take a look here it comes with standard panoramic uh, roof it is not a sunroof you cannot uh, remove or uh, the glass but it has additional black uh, covering which is uv protection and also keeps the radiation low which is very practical for our indian conditions it is a volvo again so the seats are extremely comfortable it also comes with additional under thigh support here you go you can do that and you pull it back up and you can close it back it is supportive you can see the side bolsters again very very supportive and very comfortable here you can see the lower back support which is very very important in terms of the driver's seat it is all electric adjustment and it also has a memory option right here it has two memory options this is basically the uh, front section of the cabin and yes of course it has an all digital instrument cluster which is 12.3 uh, inch so that itself is also very very comprehensive it does offer a lot of details and uh, one of the first details you can see is that your navigation system itself mirrors into the instrument cluster so it's very easy to use and a lot more user friendly and of course then you have your um, speedometer right here on the left and what uh, mode of drive are you using drive neutral or reverse so you're always aware over here you also get to know the range of the battery right now 92 percent it is saying roughly 320 kilometers but we'll get to the range part a bit later so this is what the front of the car looks like let's head back to the rear and see how spacious it is so we are heading into the rear and you can see that i had to bend down a bit more than the usual because of the sloping roof line does it really affect my height the headroom not really but i am just five feet nine if you are six feet definitely you're gonna have some issues because 
the space of five fingers here in my height. So yeah, it is limited. On top of that, you also see that the shoulder lines are a little bit more taller. The windows, as we had said earlier, the rear windows are a little bit more slimmer. So you do feel slightly cramped. In terms of the space also, it is limited. You have, of course, your arm rest. But if you just close this, just see that the central tunnel right here, it is raised. And Volvo says this is a born electric vehicle. Well, it is based on the XC40 platform. So that is the reason why you have this. Otherwise, an all electric vehicle should not be having this. And this actually eats into the space. So a person who's going to be sitting in the middle row, it is going to be tough for him. Um, but also it will not be an adult, it will be more of a child. Apart from that, it is a basically a two-seater adult uh, seat. So this is what the rear looks like in the C40 Recharge. So we are driving the C40 Recharge and it is based on the XC40. So we all know the crazy sort of power and acceleration it offers. Now, it has the same battery, a 78 kilowatt hour and churns out 408 horsepower and mind-boggling 660 Nm. Now, if you just step on the accelerator in a straight road, it will push you, throw you back into the seats. Like, just watch this. <laughs> that is how crazy it is. And this is just for a microsecond I did this because it's raining. We are at the winding roads of Lunavla, so we can't really step on the pedal at the moment. But this is just what insane power this coupe SUV offers. On top of that, it is a lot more aerodynamic than the XC40 Recharge. And it does 0 to 104.2 seconds. That's insane. It's really insane because it is a lot faster than uh, some of its German rivals. That is how capable this car is. It's just brilliant. But there's always a but. In terms of ride and handling, well, it's not really up to what its rivals offer. Now, the ride quality is on the firm side. So if you're like driving on the tarmac, if you're flat tarmac, or if you're driving in urban conditions, sure, it's fine. You will have absolutely no problems. But if you just go on even slight minor ditches shallow ditches you feel it you feel the bad road conditions let alone deep potholes uh, i'm not even going to get there because that is just a massive spine busting experience in terms of handling it is a heavy car and uh, when it takes sharp turns when it gets into curves you do feel the body roll let's be honest there but it offers great grip so it does not like go way out of control or nothing like that just that you feel the weight weighing in on you that is the only thing there let's talk about the range because the range is something which all ev buyers think of before they buy so according to the wltp uh, record it has it returns a range of 530 kilometers and just to give you the indian version of that the icat testing facility has said that it offers around over 650 kilometers per range so we can say safely that you can cover 400 kilometers quite comfortably and that is really a lot of kilometers that you can uh, cover and that will also severely kill the idea of range anxiety right there uh, charging yes if you're using a 150 kilowatt DC charger then this pocket rocket SUV uh, does from 0 to 80 percent in just about 30 minutes uh, according to Volvo it's 27 minutes so that is the precise time but let's say 30 minutes within 30 minutes so that is very very impressive again uh, in terms of the regular uh, charger, well, I think it will be somewhere around uh, 8 to 10 hours. We really haven't checked it out yet, but that's what we are guessing. So basically, an overnight charge should do the trick. Uh, Volvo will provide um, the 11 kilowatt charging uh, facility as standard. So that comes with the car. Well, it uh, offers two uh, options. 
one is the one pedal uh, option so either you can just switch it off or it has an on mode and it has an auto mode now on mode is a little bit more intrusive so I'm, I have switched it on an on mode because right now it's pouring so I'm just playing it safe so what happens in on mode is you just let go of the accelerator and it just automatically stops it's a bit more intrusive uh, but otherwise if you want a more linear a little bit more natural way of the brakes kicking in the auto mode also uh, is something that you can opt for but the other one is uh, the weight of the steering wheel either it can be light or it can be firm now the light version is like your regular car you know it uh, feels very comfortable driving in city the firm if you put it on uh, steering feel firm mode you do feel the weight a little bit more and it does kind of add that additional weight but it feels very artificial I mean you can actually do without opting for this um, this option but if you're generally you are used to a heavy um, steering wheel or you like that additional weight in your steering wheel well go for it no worries there as well so I've always kept it very simple all you have to do is play around with the pedal and that is your sport mode eco mode normal mode it's all up to you EVs or electric vehicles are the brave new world in the automobile sector and Volvo has decided to bring some more style to that segment and not many cars can claim what design the C40 Recharge offers. On top of that, it's a dasher. It is very fast from 0 to 100. Ride quality could be a little bit better. It is on the firmer side. Handling also could have been better. But then you look at the inside. It has all premium quality and materials. Simplistic at its best but user friendly as well. The boot space could have been better, well, there are some cons, but there are more pros the C40 offers. If you're in the market for a luxury EV which stands out and offers really good range, well, then you should take a look at the C40 Recharge because it fits the bill. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so and do let us know what you think of the EV segment in India and of course the C40 Recharge. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,